Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Els Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about some of my top five mid-post basketball moves that you can use in game today. Well, after you practice them a bit. Okay, so what I talk, what I mean by the mid post, the high post would be the elbow, the low post would be the block or at least within a couple of feet from the block. I'm talking about halfway between the three point line and the low post. You can also call this mid range uh, moves as well, but I'm calling them mid post because this is back to the basket moves from mid range. So first off, when you get that ball, your first instinct is to say, "Ooh, I'm a little bit too far out, especially if I'm a center, I need to pass this ball off. However, there's a lot of players in the NBA and other leagues around the world who have made a living off of this area of the basketball court. Now, number one, when you get the ball here, the, the first move that I really like to use and what I've seen in game myself is the shoulder fake. So you get that ball, you go one dribble into your player, you're gonna shoulder fake back this way while still dribbling and then you're gonna drive right. So it's gonna look like this. You get the ball, you go one, and then you're gonna drive right towards the rim. Now, the reason why this one is so effective is because for one, now your defender, he's gonna take a step back because now you've taken a step towards him. Now, you've taken that fake shoulder fake towards the baseline. Now, as a defensive player, even myself, I would then take a step this way just to cut off the driving lane. But in reality, now you're driving back down the middle of the court and you can get an easy layup. So quickly, this is what it looks like. Now this next move is gonna be a play on that same move that we just did. So this next move is gonna be receiving the ball now you can turn around and do a fadeaway right away. However, I find that very unsuccessful for most players because now that player who's defending already knows what you're gonna do. He's gonna get really close and he's gonna be contesting if not blocking your shot. So what you wanna do here is the same move where you take a step in, then you use your right pivot foot to turn and take that shot. Again, very useful move, especially when you're pairing it again with that first move. So it's gonna look like this in fast speed. Now, as you can see, that can be a very effective move. However, this third move I'm gonna show you is again, a play off of both of those moves combined. So you're gonna receive that ball in this third move, dribble into the player. Now, when you take that dribble, this right foot needs to be down. So you need to go slide it over. You're gonna turn because this is now your pivot foot. Take that shot fake, step through and go in for that layup. So here's what it looks like in fast speed. Now, as you can see, those three moves in combination can be very effective and they can help you score so many points in the mid post. However, um, in this fourth move, we're not gonna be adding on to that move set. What we're gonna be doing here is still receiving that ball, obviously in the mid, in the mid post. We're then gonna take a reverse pivot and fake, do then a shot fake. Hopefully, he, your defender now has taken a step back or is in the air. What you're gonna do now is after that last shot fake, you're then gonna take one dribble towards the baseline, plant that left foot, then you're gonna spin off and go up with your left hand. Now this is a great move to do. You can do this without having to do the fakes. You can just do a regular, just reverse pivot. One dribble and then go up with your left hand. You don't have to add the fakes in but depending on how closely your defender is playing you, you might wanna add those in. Okay, so now in this fifth move, what I'm gonna show you, it's just a simple up and under. Now, the reason why you would wanna do a simple up and under is basically you're gonna be having your back towards your defender. You're gonna turn, act like you're gonna take that shot, 
and then you're just gonna go through for that layup. Now, again, very simple move, but also very effective. This is great if you don't have much time left on the clock, or if you just wanna do a quick move instead of setting something up, maybe you know that there's gonna be a double team coming at you, whatever it may be, get it, shot fake, and then go up. Now, that pivot foot, when you go up for your shot, you're allowed to lift up and go in like a regular layup. Let me show you in fast speed. Now I hope that these five mid post basketball plays help you score more points in your next basketball game. If they do, let us know in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Go check out the suspension training link down there as well. And I'll see you guys again uh, well, tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.